Deuteronomy 20, 19b. Ki ha'adam eitz hasade lavo mifanecha bamatzor. So we get here in the second part of the verse a rather complicated <laughs> set of uh, set of uh, clauses, and so we're going to begin with the key here that could be just uh, continuing on as a subordinate of what came before, and we would have something like, uh, "For the man is a tree of the field," or something like that. And, but in this context, it seems to be a little bit awkward to say it that way. One way we could think about this would be that this definite article, as it appears here, is actually uh, val pointed incorrectly and should be the interrogative hey that would val point a little differently. And so then we would get something like a rhetorical question. But is man a tree of the field? In other words, they've been set out in this context to devote to the band the soldiers and the men of the city. And so uh, they're now told not to engage or wield an axe against the trees, is is a man like the tree of the field? Is the man a tree of the field? In other words, don't mess with the trees. Go after the guys. That's the, that's the point. And so I think the interrogative works here. The other option, since we need another option, is that this key could introduce the interrogative itself. Now, I'll refer you to Arnold and Tucker's Baylor handbook on this verse for the discussion. I found it very helpful, but you've got several options with some of this complicated idea. But again, I think we're we're getting at some sort of rhetorical question. Is man a tree of the field that you would go after the trees? Like, don't worry about the trees. That's not the point, okay? So next we get uh, to enter, and I think this is further explaining kind of why we get the rhetorical question, to enter from before you in the siege. And so the question is, is a man like a tree, or is the tree like a man, that the tree would enter before you into the siege? And the answer again is no to that rhetoric, and so you don't need to engage the trees. The verb that we have here is a call infinitive construct of the verbal root bow, plus that lamid preposition. And again, I think it's just further explaining a way that the tree could possibly be like a man. But again, the rhetoric here is no, he's not.